the main character of the movie named White Knife, is shown who lives in a tribe. The tribe leader brought him here in his childhood. Since then he lives here, and he goes to purchase carrots and butter from a shop. His fiancée was standing outside and a gang appears. This gang is called the Left Eye Gang, because they have taken out their right eye for the gang. The gang leader likes the fiancé of White Knife, and wants to kidnap his fiancée before he comes out. White Knife discovers this and sees him while coming out. The gang leader says to White Knife you can't end us because we are in a large number. Then it happens that can't even imagine and White Knife beats them, and they were tied with the rod at the end of the fight. The gang leader was also tied with a wooden tank. Meanwhile, the Chopiner comes out and tries to attack White Knife and attack him, but White Knife escapes from his attack. Later, he moves to his tribe with his fiance. He is the bravest of his tribe. He doesn't belong to this tribe from the beginning. They have taught him the way to live in the outer world. A white man is shown reaches the tribe in search of his son. He tells he didn't meet his son since his childhood. Here we discover White Knife was his son, and he has lost him in childhood. His father is a robber, but now he wants to leave this. Now he wants to spend his life as he wants. He has gained a lot of money while robbing. Now he wants to give this money to his son. So his son will use this money for his tribe. White Knife discovers his name is Tommy, and he accepts the money from his father at his fiancé's request. Let me tell you he doesn't have this money right now, and his father has hidden this money under the pine trees. Tommy tells his father some hooligans have ended his mother when he was in school. His dad says to have concealed the money in the nearby mountains among the pine trees. He was telling him the location of the money, but his gang companions reach her. They also want money and are ready to end the whole tribe for the sake of money. Later, they take Tommy's father so he will take them to the buried money. His father gives him clue while leaving that money is buried near a windmill. But when his father left, Tommy thinks he will find out his father's money. He will release his father from this gang while giving them money. He faces a problem when he goes in search of money in the mountains. There were many pine trees and he doesn't know where is the money buried. After digging a lot his leader asks him to think about earning money in another way. How can he earn $50,000 in a few hours? He has only the option of robbery, but he doesn't want to do it. Then he considers going to the city and robbing the evil people. It means he will not harm the good ones and will take money from evil people. He cuts his hair to hide his identity. He wears good clothes and reaches the city, and a lady gives him shelter in the city. He discovers he has a brother from that lady. His stepbrother is named Ramon, and he includes him in this mission. Now they will do robbery together because they are restless to meet their father. They will save their father from the gangsters. They go to rob the bank for collecting the money they ask for. Tommy is shown entering the bank through the window. The bank manager sees him and Ramon meets another boy, and discovers he is also their stepbrother. He includes the boy in their mission. Now they will collect the money. Tommy was robbing money and finds a note written by his father nearby money. He has written many years ago for a boy named Johnny, and he steals money while escaping from the bank manager. He successfully steals the money. They run from there, but the manager was chasing them. The left eye gang is shown planning to take revenge on Tommy, and the shop owner who attacked Tommy is also with them. The brothers are shown spending a night in the campaign. Their third brother tells them he has a strong neck, and nothing will happen if he will punish. The next day, they meet a man who lives in mountains. He tells them his life history. They discover he is also their fourth stepbrother and include him in their plan. The next day, they go to a salon to learn about the city's wealthy residents. So they will try to rob them. The barber tells them about a public house here that is having a gold chicken nugget. It will be sold expensive if they will steal it. It is expensive and they make a plan to steal it. They meet a man in a public house, and he was asking about their father while searching for him. Meanwhile, the owner of the public house starts beating the man. The man comes to them and they discover he is their fifth stepbrother. Tommy says the sons of Frank raise their hands. They raise their hand, and the strange thing is the boy who plays piano here also raises his hand. He is their sixth brother. Here they were given the name Ridiculous Six, and now they move in search of their father in the evening. 
Firstly, they successfully steal the golden chicken nugget. The owner sees them and asks them to return the nugget while pointing a gun. Ramon hits a shovel at his head and mistakenly separates his head. The owner of the public house fires at them before dying without his head. They get shocked to see him and they hardly escape from there. Later, they meet a man who tells them that he is inventing a game baseball, and he will tell them about treasure if they will play this game with them. He also knows their father. They play games with him and he tells them many things about treasure. They discover the place, but they have to steal 30,000 more. For this, they move to a village. It is shown that their third brother misbehaves with a lady. Due to it, he was punished to be tied, but the others were robbing there. So they will complete their money. They were robbing easily because the villagers went to see the punishment of their brother. They were robbing a gold shop, and their brother was given punishment. Their brother told them he has a strong neck and it was a fact. Their brother wasn't scared of being swinged but was enjoying it. The villagers were shocked to see him. The village leader was about to end him while shooting him, but then his brothers save him and escape while taking jewelry. They are shown bathing in a river in the next scene. Here, the left eye gang attacks them and runs while taking their money. Now they have lost what they have got. They are dissatisfied with their efforts to save their father. One of them tells them about gambling. The rich people visit there and they can rob them if they want. Their hope may still be alive. They move there, where Ramon establishes himself as a prosperous trader. The others were his guards, but a man suspects them. They run from there while scaring them with a knife and taking money from all of them. They reach the place told by the baseball player, and they couldn't see the windmill. They become worried about where is the treasure. Meanwhile, they see the left eye gang buried in the earth. They tell them the man who has kidnapped their father has done this to them. They are shown taking out the left eye gang members from the earth. Ramon shows them the old picture of their father. The gangster was also there in the picture who has kidnapped their father. Tommy notices a tattoo on his hand, and there was the same tattoo on that man's hand who has ended his mother. He understood that this gangster has ended my mother now he will surely take revenge on that gangster. He will save his father. Tommy can discover the gangster while seeing the sand temperature's location. Where they have gone. They will go to that side, but Tommy doesn't want to drag his brothers into trouble. He wants to take revenge of his mother alone. They will move in the daytime and will take rest at night. Getting a chance, Tommy wrote a letter for his brothers and run from there. He reaches the gangster while using his techniques and reaching there, he asks his gangster to show his hand. There was the same tattoo on it and he points his gun at Tommy, but Tommy was already prepared and hits his knife at that gangster. The gangster dies there with that knife's attack. Meanwhile, the companions of the gangster were about to attack Tommy, but his brothers arrive, and the left eye gang has also arrives there to save him. That's why the companions of the gangster run from there and they release their father. Later, their father meets his sons whom he doesn't know whether they exist or not. They tell their father, we have deducted a significant amount of money from the amount required to save you. We have more money and as their father hears this his behavior changes. He calls his gangster who went, and they discover their father isn't a good man, and he was doing this because he knew Tommy will earn money for his father. Tommy will do anything to save his father. His father wants to earn money like this, that's why he has made this plan. His father has kidnapped his fiance. There was a massive shootout, and we learned that the left eye gang has its own eyes. They lied that they don't have left eyes. As a result, everyone will regard them as tough. Now there was a fight between the brothers and the left eye gang, and in the end, they successfully leave Frank in a tunnel. Later, the police arrest everyone. Tommy is shown in the last scene marrying his fiancée. His brothers were also overjoyed and danced at his wedding. Here this movie ends.